Beloved Masters, long, long ago, those brave souls who would later come forth as starseed ways hours for the ascension of humanity and the Earth agreed to take on a special role on the planet Earth sometime in the far distant future. This group of souls, who bravely answered a new clarion call, would incarnate into every race, color, culture, and creed. They would be spread far and wide upon a specially created planet in preparation for a preordained cosmic drama, the mass ascension of humanity and the Earth along with all material manifestations within this sub-universe. It is vitally important for you to understand that these are unprecedented times whereby many special dispensations are in force. It is a grand opportunity for you, the seekers of the light, to tap into your divine heritage and your special gifts and talents. At rare intervals, and during the transitional period from one great age to another, Cosmic law allows the beings of the angelic realm and the spiritual hierarchy to pass through the veil and make contact with select, awakened members of the human race. You must express a willingness and a desire to interact with these wondrous, advanced beings, for they will not infringe upon your free will. When you focus your attention on a particular master, angel, or being of light, they are immediately aware of you and will respond. The more intense, sincere, and constant your desire, the more of their radiance they will bestow upon you. Your guardian angels, spiritual guides and teachers will make every effort to assist you to receive the higher frequencies of wisdom which are critical for these chaotic times of transformation. These benevolent beings endeavor to gain your attention by intensifying the light within your solar power center and eventually within your sacred heart. You have waited centuries for an invitation to consciously communicate with the Ascended Masters and the Angelic Realms, and they have patiently awaited this time as well. As human beings, communing with the beings of light is a great evolutionary step for you, for it quickly facilitates a new conscious awareness and a powerful transformation within you. Most likely, you will first connect with and learn to interact and communicate with your personal guides, or sometime, your master teacher will quickly establish a relationship with you. Especially, if you made an agreement to work with that particular being before incarnating in this lifetime. Many of you are in the process of developing your sixth sense the intuitive mind, whereby you will have a direct line to your oversoul self and certain facets of your multiple higher selves. It is the beginning phase of creating a direct line to home base, your divine I am presence or God self. Do not seek God in the heavens or some far away, unattainable place, for the essence of the Creator, a spark of divinity, resides within your sacred heart. Many of you are becoming aware of your divine origins, however, you have only a slight inkling of your vast potential as a bearer of cosmic light. It is vitally important that you become attuned to the ever-increasing frequencies of Creator Essence, for it will accelerate the ascension process and assist you in attaining the status of a self-master so that you may fulfill your pledge to be a light upon the path and a ways hour. Remember, you can only access vibrational levels with which you and your energetic signature are compatible. That is why it is so important to have gone through a clearing and cleansing process in order to achieve a more balanced and harmonious state of being within your mental and emotional bodies. Those of you who stepped to the fore were given a special dispensation, whereby much of your minor imbalances would be cleared so that your earthly burden would not be too overwhelming. All that remained would be the major lessons that you needed to resolve so that you could return to a balanced and harmonious level of vibrational frequencies, thereby lifting your energetic signature or soul song to the mid-fourth dimension and higher. A vast multitude of you, the star seed, are well on your way to self-mastery, however, too many of the ways Hauer group are still at slumber or in denial. Each of you has a major role to play in the accelerated evolutionary process that is now in progress. The genetic encodings of this group carry the best qualities of all the former root races, along with memory seed atom encodings for the new golden root race of the future. It is true that over time there have been great imbalances amongst this group of souls. Many have not listened to the nudgings of their spirit self and have forgotten their earthly mission. However, deep within your sacred heart core, each of you was encoded with a memory seed atom. When activated, it was programmed to help you remember your promise to be our earthly representatives, and that your mission would be to strive with all your beingness to become proficient co-creators of beauty, peace, harmony and abundance on the earthly plane. 
we wish to give you some basic information so you will be able to put what we are sharing with you in proper perspective. It is important that you not see yourselves as people of only one lineage, for all of you have experienced lifetimes in all the major root races. It is important that you do not place yourselves above those on the path behind you, for you have also been non-seekers and followers in many lifetimes. You have had black skin as well as the brown, white, red and yellow skin of the other root races, and you also have within your DNA all the distinct attributes, virtues and qualities of each of these races. In this lifetime, you chose to be born into a particular family or to live in a specific country for a very explicit reason. At a universal level, after you externalized into your individualized God consciousness and had spent eons of time in joyous co-creation, you and a harmonious group of souls, which we will call soul family groups, were called together in a great pyramid of light in the higher realms. These pyramids of light would later be called world server pyramids, and they are scattered throughout the many sub-levels of the fifth dimension. You were told that there would come a time in the far distant future when a major phase of the divine plan would come to a culmination. Many specialized groups would be brought together who would have important roles to play in the reunification process. That time is now. Those of you we fondly call old souls are scattered throughout the world. True, there are greater numbers of these old souls in some locations and cultures, however. This vanguard group is scattered around the earth from the most primitive rural areas to the most cosmopolitan and highly cultured cities. These brave souls are not the people who run the government or make the headlines. They live on farms, for they love nature and the animals who are in their care. They have mundane jobs in every field of endeavor, and they quietly go about fulfilling their duties. They have positions of great responsibility and they serve their country and its people in a great variety of ways. They live in mansions and in hovels, and in every social level from the lowest to the highest. They are members of organized religious groups, and they worship in their own unique way. Many are attuned to the whisperings of their higher selves and they have become masters of self. Many others are well on their spiritual path, but unfortunately, there is a great multitude of these starseed ways howers who are still unconscious of their divine nature and the promise they made so long ago. Those of you who are in this group have encoded within your DNA the major virtues, abilities and qualities of the Atlantean race, the leaders or pioneers or warriors. There is a deep-seated desire to use your mental abilities along with the divine will and power of our Father God in order to be major co-creators on the physical plane of reality. In addition, you are infused with the highest virtues, qualities and abilities of our Mother God, which were instilled in those souls who came to Earth during the Golden Age of Lemuria, the gentle, nurturing, intuitive, inward-focused qualities, along with great artistic abilities and a desire for peace, tranquility and contemplation. You have experienced a rich and wondrous spiritual heritage. In the past, you have been blessed to have many magnificent beings of light in your midst masters whose teachings have left you with wondrous guidelines for living a virtuous life. However, it is time to blend the past with the future, and humanity is experiencing a deep-seated need for guidance, inspiration and support from one another. We are going to suggest a new way. It is our greatest hope that some of you will take up the banner and be the future spiritual champions for the emerging new spirituality among self-aware humankind. We ask you to begin to come together in order to study, support and inspire each other. We ask you to share your knowledge, your wisdom, your visions and your experiences with one another. We are aware of a great sense of loneliness amongst the peoples of the world a sense of isolation. It is not enough to read the teachings we give you or those of the masters, or to visit a beautiful cathedral or temple and pay homage to God. It is a time of reunification. It is now time to come together to share your love, wisdom and inspiration, a time to study together and to support one another. We are not asking you to build more great temples, for that is not where the creator essence of the future will dwell. You are the co-creators of the future divine sparks of the creator who are being asked to take your rightful place in the grand march into the future. Beloved ones, it is time to release all the guilt, shame and feelings of unworthiness that so many of you have carried as core issues from a very long time ago. 
you must heal the pain of the past so that you may assume your proper role in the wondrous plan for the future that is now unfolding so rapidly on planet Earth. Through our messages, we have given you the tools, wisdom, and insight to release all things in your life that do not serve your best interests and the greatest good. We implore you to take to heart what we have told you, over and over again, you are worthy of all the love, beauty, joy, peace, and abundance of this universe, for it is your divine birthright. You must learn to love and respect yourself. You must have a deep sense of self-worth before you can truly love and respect others, and before others will return the love and respect you so richly deserve. We ask you to review the qualities, virtues, and attributes of your divine heritage that you are now displaying. Are you projecting too much of the masculine Atlantean energy, and focusing too much on acquiring and creating? Remember, we have told you that you are looking for a state of being or a quality of life. You can acquire great wealth and manifest many wondrous things materially, but if your heart center is closed or you have ignored and not developed your Lemurian goddess virtues and qualities, you will feel incomplete and experience a great sense of dissatisfaction. Come together in groups of 2, 3, 10, 100, or 1000, it makes no difference. However, if you join together for the benefit of all, we promise you, we will be there in full force to empower you, to assist you, and to radiate the love of our Father or Mother God to you in the greatest measure you can contain. Your major goal at this time is to return to the originally designed spectrum of light and shadows, the vibrational patterns that make up your personal world in the third or fourth dimensional reality. In doing so, your pendulum of consciousness will not swing so radically from positive to negative frequencies, and your mental and emotional natures will become stabilized and centered once more. This is an important step in learning to live centered within your sacred heart and sacred mind. As you elevate your vibrational patterns, the higher frequencies of light will gradually dissolve the many membranes of light that restrict your higher consciousness. Once this occurs, you are well on your way to living a conscious, soul-inspired life of a self-master. It is a most wondrous time, beloveds. We have been with you from the time you first externalized into your individual consciousness within this universe. We will be with you as we go forward into the bright new future as we join forces with the mighty Elohim, the great builders of form, in preparation for the fulfillment of the glorious new age to come. I send forth the radiance of our Father or Mother God as we enfold you in an aura of divine love or light. In you, we are well pleased. I am Archangel Michael.